Good morning. I am Dr. Avishkar Zagade and today we are going to study neuromuscular transmission. Before starting with neuromuscular transmission, it is imperative that we draw a diagram and see the basic physiological anatomy of a neuromuscular junction and the various parts involved and once we see the diagram, it's very easy to just elaborate the functions of every part and how the process actually occurs. So we start by drawing the neural membrane, then we draw the post presynaptic membrane, please leave gaps in between two gaps on each side. So this here is the neural membrane and this here is the presynaptic membrane. The presynaptic membrane has synaptic vesicles. These synaptic vesicles have the most important thing which is important for the neuromuscular transmission that is the acetylcholine or the neurotransmitter. Now here there is one more important part that is the dense bar. Here also there is something called as the dense bar. So the dense bar is also called as the active zone. I repeat the dense bar is also called as the active zone. So these synaptic vesicles, they come here at the release sites. So the gaps I have drawn, these are called the release sites. Let's name them here. They are called the release sites. So the synaptic vesicles will come here and empty their contents. The contents are obviously the acetylcholine into the junction. Now let's go ahead and draw the postsynaptic membrane. Now the postsynaptic membrane has certain test tube looking like structures which are nothing but the subneural clefts, clefts, subneural clefts. Now the subneural clefts also have two kind of structures. The first structures are present immediately at the opening of the subneural cleft. These are called the ACH receptors. Okay. So they are actually nicotinic ACH receptors, nicotinic acetylcholine receptors. At the base of the synaptic cleft, you have something which is a channel, a protein channel. So these are voltage gated sodium channel. Also in the junction where the acetylcholine is released, you have an enzyme acetylcholinesterase. So now when we are studying neuro trans, uh, neuromuscular transmission, what we have to study is, we have to study first is the presynaptic events that is what happens before the acetylcholine is released. Then we have the synaptic events and in the end we have the post synaptic events. In the presynaptic events, we will see how the synaptic vesicles are formed, where they are formed. We will see how the acetylcholine is formed. We will see the chemical reactions in acetylcholine. We will see the process by which the acetylcholine is released from the synaptic vesicles into the junction. Then we will see how much acetylcholine is released. We will see the structure of acetylcholine. Then we will see the function of acetylcholine which is an enzyme. 
then we will see the structure of the ACH receptors, the nicotinic ACH receptors. Then we will see the function of the voltage gated sodium channels. And in the end, we will study the effect of blockades. That is the effect of various drugs on a neuromuscular transmission. We will conclude with the diseases which affect the neuromuscular transmission. That is the applied physiology.